Pope 21, we're on to Pope St. Cornelius. His episcopacy lasts from 251 to 253, so about two years and about ten months, apparently, according to Eusebius. The Decian persecution had just ended with the death of uh, Pope St. Fabian before him, uh, so he was, it was relatively peaceful in his time, but he was eventually exiled, and some say he was beheaded. But during his episcopacy, uh, we do see the arrival of our second antipope, uh, Novatian. Unlike our previous one, or any other antipope for that matter, uh, he does not convert back and become a saint. It is worth noting that Pope St. Cornelius, uh, his response to Novatian was very quick and decisive. Uh, he got St. Dionysius the Great and about a hundred uh, African bishops in the Eastern Church on his side almost immediately. And he himself got another 60 bishops together in Rome, so he's very quick and decisive on this. It is also worth noting that, like his predecessor, he did not uh, enter the papal throne uh, willingly, but he did a good job.